might be a challenge. What has happened? Think about last week. Think what's happened. Why do we need a map? Jessica? Because um, maybe um, last week they were on the island and we need to see where they are and stuff. Okay, right. What has happened to the Mimi? I don't think you have to think too um, hard. I think we can remember what has happened. Jessica? <laughs> well, it has a leak in um, a shipwreck. They got shipwrecked, and the ship has a leak, and, and the engine got um, water in it, and it wouldn't start. Right. So, they're having some problems. Angie, what else? The sail, they had to, they had to take the whole sail down and use it as um, a place to stay. All right, so they're starting to do what? What's the most important thing in their minds right now? You what would you say? Try to imagine that you are aboard the meeting and this has happened to you. What would be the first thing that you would be thinking about, Dan? Survival. Okay, survival. And what would be some of the things that would be important for your survival on this island? We know they're on an island. How do they know that they're on an island? What have they done so far? Peter? Well, um, <coughs> CT and, um, um, you know, they went up and they went up into a tree. And CT looked around and he said it was an island. All right. Were they disappointed at what they saw? Yes. yes. Why were they disappointed, Richard? Because there was um, not even a house there, and so they they would have to survive all on their own. All right. So it might be a little bit more difficult than they, they had a lot of people, people to help. Okay, that's right. All right. What would you do? What would be the most important thing that you would be thinking about right now for your survival? Right, we're thinking survival, but what would be the most important thing for you? Okay. They do need food, they need water, they need shelter. What would be the most important, do you think, for yourself? What would you want to take care of first? See? Water. Right. Why water? Because we can, we can survive longer with food without food than we can with water. But you've got the ocean around you, see? You've got so much water. All right, does that make a difference? Yeah. And we're going to find out today why it does make a difference. And some of you might already know why it's not a good idea to, to drink salt water. <laughs> this episode is called Making Do. But look at the way do is spelled. How's it going to be spelled? Making do. That's what I said. Yes. And what does this do? Um, it's like the um, water. The drops outside in the very morning. Very morning. Now think, before we see the episode, think why it's called making do and what they might, you already know. All right, and what they might do right, to survive. Remember, that's their important, the thing that's in their mind right now, is survival. Do you know? No, no. All right, let's see. Okay, we'll find out. Thanks, Yeah. 
I think this is where we are. Let's take a look. See that small one? Not much chance of being sighted or picked up here. We're going to have to get ourselves out of here without help. It means we better get to work on me. The first thing we have to do is plug that leak. We did that already. Well, we better pump her up then. We did that too. She throws a high tide. But every time the tide goes out, she's on her side.
ideas? Yes. yes. Um, why were they forced into doing this? Why did they have to create this solar still? Why couldn't they just drink the water on the ship? They still had some. Yeah. Well, um, because um, some of the salt water had leaked into the um, bottle and had made it too salty for them to drink. That's right. And what was the word that they used to tell what had happened to the water? It had now become a uh, pretty good vocabulary word, didn't it? Still? Well, in a way. <coughs> not quite the same thing. Um, it does start with a C. It had become contaminated. Condemned. Contaminated, right? Contaminated, meaning what? Have your body dehydrated? No, you have to have water. That's right, you have to have water. So they didn't have, um, they didn't have much choice. They had to come up with some solution. How come they didn't find water on the island? How come there's some rivers or some lakes or things? Kelly? Um, they, because it's just a small island. Could they possibly have found? Could there have been a lake or something? Maybe three. But they didn't. They didn't find anything, so they had to come up with another solution. Jessica? Well, they probably didn't have water because of the ocean water. Idea to make this solar still? Mm -hmm. yeah. What did they have to have, though, to be able to make it? Luckily, they had these things. Yeah. Greg? Um, they had to have um, like wooden um, boards to plant, put the paper. Plastics of plastic. Yeah. Um, could they have done it without the plastic? No. Yeah. No. 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 Don't no. think they could have. Well, they might have if else? they had like um maybe like a garbage bag or something. Or they did garbage, garbage bag. Yeah, garbage they did. Bag. If they had maybe like um some wood or something because it can get on there. Clear garbage bag. Okay. Yeah, clear yeah. garbage bag. Or maybe black like plastic bag. bag. Because yeah. otherwise the plastic wouldn't get in. Okay. What was the black garbage bag used for though? It had a special purpose. What was that for, Billy? To like keep the water off and out of the sand. So if if you just put the water on the sand, it would seep in. Okay, that's part of it. It also had another purpose. Flora, do you remember? It wouldn't get past because it was black. Because it was black. Do you know that to be true? Yeah. That the sun absorbs yeah. into yeah. things that are dry. Usually, wear dark clothes so that they um, yeah. get you warmer. And what happens in the summertime? You, you, you wear white or light. Like something like this before, or someone in your family has done it before. If you think you already know, wait until you've actually created this. And then we'll talk about um, something very similar to this. It might not be for the same purpose, but something very much the same as what we're going to do today. Now, I'm going to give each row, and that means a row of three of you will work together. Right, I'm going to give you one of our books here. And ask that you turn, let's see the page. Salty because um we were in a lake that had some salt in it, and after it dried, all the salt, all the salt came out of it, and it just tastes like regular water. And oh, did it? When you took the salt away, is that kind of what they were trying to do? Take the salt away and hope that it would taste good. Okay, now let's look at this before um before we actually get started. And before you get into your group, can do. One person can gather the materials. Then another person can begin working on whatever the directions say. And everybody should have a chance to do part of this to create their solar stuff. Now, there might be some changes that you'll make. As you read the directions, you might think, well, I really don't have to do one of these steps. Everything else will be together. All right, now, I'll put the materials Latitude and 
longitude direction to give us an idea of where the Mimi really is. Just take a look at the Mimi. Our man probably won't say it's the just